Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the local breakout on the Bitcoin chart, the current resistance we are pinned up against right now, which if broken, I am expecting all time highs to be hit on the weekend. We also have to take into consideration right now when trading Bitcoin, the Coinbase listing on the stock exchange, which is happening early next week, uh, the 14th to be precise. You know, this is considered bullish for Bitcoin. I believe, uh, you know, Coinbase are going to want to see a good price of Bitcoin, no? Uh, so that's obviously happening on the 14th. Uh, but we're here for the charts. We're here for the technicals. And uh, let's, let's begin. So, ladies and gentlemen, we obviously have our blank chart here. Totally nothing on the chart. We had obviously been trading uh, current price of Bitcoin, 60800 Okay, We've currently obviously had been trading over the past week our higher term time frame key levels. Uh, these key levels really were you know kind of what we can we say like influencing the market in terms of just offering very nice trades i guess we had our clearly defined top of the range and we had our clearly defined low of the range the midpoint was offering your day trade so for, for scalp traders you had a lot of trades off the midpoint of here as well but what we can see here is we have totally blown through the top of the resistance so there was really no trade offered here as you just totally <laughs> obliterated the resistance what could we say there was a few factors of why we went up so fast well, we obviously had this downward sloping channel. Okay, so we had this channel that was going on. And as you can see, really, you had the first touch, second touch, third touch of it. And then when you broke through on the fourth touch, bam, like you've, you've just gone straight through, uh, obviously, your next key resistance here. You might be wondering to yourself, okay, uh, obviously, with those high term time frame key levels, what was the reason that we bounced down here? And what is the reason that we're rejecting up here? I can give you my perspective of the way that I trade. And in my opinion, we have these higher term time frame levels. So you can see, obviously, when we came down to the lows, we did bounce off of our weekly. If you remember, I'm still still in that still in that long, uh, by the way. Uh, but that was obviously from our weekly. And now we've obviously come to our daily. So now we're back up at the, the daily level up at the highs. So this is the thing. When we have our higher term time frame range that was going on for the past week, we are very much aware if we broke to the downside, we had our weekly support. If we break to the upside, we have our daily resistance. So with that in mind, I'm going to bring this back over here. And what I might do, I might just approach this in the way of how I'm trading it then. So the way that I'm personally trading this right now, <laughs> although people might be surprised, I well, again, you might not be surprised. I am actually in a short position. Okay, short why? You might be thinking, why would you short this, Daniel? Look at this on the daily. You might be thinking, oh my God, you cannot short this. This is really, 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 really bullish. I might, my answer to this is, um, don't worry about me. <laughs> don't worry about me and my trades. Um, but personally, yeah, I, I have taken a short off of this daily. Stop loss, but obviously above the all-time high now. And, you know, this, this really is for me, like approaching this in the manner of, hey, this is like the last resistance before all-time highs. So when you think about, you know, in terms of probabilities, I think this is a good day trade. I think it's a weekend move. I think it's a confluence of resistance. You know, and, I've, and, I've, and I have been planned and ready for this move, okay, in that regards. So, yeah, I do think this is a good, well, for me anyway, again, I'm not giving financial advice. <laughs> Let's load up the disclaimer. I'm not telling anyone what to do with their money. Educational entertainment video only. Of course, you've got to understand the legal trade disclaimer, pause to read. But personally, yeah. <sighs> I'm, I'm taking I've already taken a short and I'm more than comfortable to do this you know and I truly believe that if I get stopped out of this short then we're going to be hitting all-time highs and if that's the case that's that's the case you know um, I'm, I'm com comfortable with that I think the main important thing that you have to do when trading the charts is to have your plan based off of your technical analysis and just execute you know at the end of the day we're trading a game of probabilities and we want to try and position ourselves with the highest probability trades now. So we obviously had that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful range. Okay, we broke to the low of the range. We bounced off of our weekly. Okay, we've come up to the high of the range. We have bounced pretty much off of our daily. Uh, 61,600 to be precise. And what we can say is now, in my opinion anyway, that this is a nice short, okay, and, you know, where, where's the next level of support? Well, well, naturally, we could say the next layer of support is going to be six sixty thousand dollars maybe a slight front run of sixty thousand dollars depends how it goes on over the weekend but what one would imagine now that that resistance of 60k should technically flip into support if the bulls want to really hold this up okay they're going to really be looking for something like i suppose what we could do is make this very simple and if we just remove this and i put on a 
SR flip, you could say that Bulls don't want to lose the first SR level, which is 60,365. Okay, that's the way that I would approach this. Like, I would say that this is a, it's not as key as your lower key, which is just under, you know, just around $60,000. But that's your first real SR level, so to speak. Um, so, you know, people are going to be looking to long that. For instance, people that have shorted the highs here, likely going to be taking profits at that level. So this, this for me is the first intermediate, you know, very short term level to be aware of in terms of support here, which if you obviously hold that and you flip that back into support, you reclaim, you know, you really claim 61,600. You, you got to expect all time highs. And this is the thing you don't want to keep on shorting, 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 shorting. You just want to take the shorts when you are positioned in a, you know, when you get yourself into a position where you, you have a really nice entry, the, the invalidation is very clearly defined and, <clears throat> you know, uh, you could view this as a hedge. I suppose you could view this as a hedge or you could have viewed this as a, as an aggressive, an aggressive position to ultimately try and trade it back down, you know, back into your range. Obviously, doesn't always happen, but, you know, when the trade is there, I think the worst thing that you can do is when you have a nice trading setup is to get scared, okay? You have the trade presented to you, you get scared, you don't take it. Just as I took a short here off the daily, I was longing the weekly, and I longed the absolute first touch of the weekly, which obviously I'm still in right now. And then the thing is here, like, I'm, I want to short the first touch of the daily, because I, I personally, as a trader, would be more annoyed at myself for not shorting this and price to even continue upwards and like I, I would be more annoyed at myself for not shorting and seeing price go up than shorting and getting stopped out because as a trader I see these trades and I need to execute otherwise yeah I just I just execute my trades you know so yeah I, I hope that this video has been a bit helpful in that regards of explaining the level of resistance that we're up against how I'm personally approaching this I still simultaneously hold the long so this is the thing where you could view it as a bit of a hedge I suppose it's the weekend uh hedging is not the end of the world uh you know we've seen this many times uh, I am aware of the coinbase you know they, they, maybe they want to push this up to all-time highs and if that's the case i'm not going to continue to fight it above all-time highs but i'm just very aware you know we've seen these weekend moves a lot um I, I i simultaneously still hold the long because i don't have a reason to close this where would i close this well probably if we come back into the range because that would for me would show a really big deviation just as we saw the deviation of the range low here we could potentially see the deviation of the range high here if we come back below 60k with obviously a close don't want to see a wick into that if you wick below it then you know you could class that as more bullish i think right now i'm just aware of why i entered this short where my invalidation is eg the stop loss and where i'm looking to you know ultimately take take profits on this uh, i would like to just play you this one really quick clip uh, which you did see in yesterday's live stream but i just want to play it again just so you can see the power of the levels that we are trading from i just really want to open your eyes to this 100 the weekly below us here 55,790. so what we can say is if we break the top of the range we have this next daily if we break the lower the range we have this weekly Okay, you hear you hear me, Dad. This was obviously for the members update that I gave on the sixth of April, where I was telling everybody, uh, you know, we're trading the range right now. And on on the sixth of April, let me just remind you, from the sixth of April, we were da -da 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 -da, we were on the sixth of April here. Okay, obviously from there we did break the low of our range and we hit the weekly support fifty five thousand seven hundred and ninety. And then what on the on the tenth of April we broke the top of our range. And we come straight up to our daily resistance. So I just want to really emphasize here that these are levels that we have planned, we've had planned out now for what I would have been before this, but from the 6th of April at least, that's when I gave the members only uh, live stream. And you can see the respect. One day later, we hit our weekly support, which gave the long, which I remain in. Okay, that's eight hundred, nearly 900% gains. And then to the flip side, I was saying if we break the top of the range, which we obviously done, we were aware of our next daily level. Hence why I have to trade it, you know, just as I had to trade the weekly, I have to trade the daily. And it really is as simple as that. It really is as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. It, it all comes down to, at the end of the day, doing your technical analysis. I've done my technical analysis and then it's executing. And we've always, we've always given this keen distinction between being a trader and being a technical analysis. It's very easy to just give charts very easy to just talk about things but there is a real big difference between just talking about something and actually putting money on the line and for me you know i've just got to this level where i execute i execute i execute whether i win or i lose that's 
now decided by the market. I've taken my trades. I know why I've taken my trades. And I know exactly what I'm risking, what I'm going to be making. You know, it's just that I just, I like, I like the position I'm in. <laughs> what can I say? Um, we'll have to see whether it, whether it is short wins or loses. If it loses, yeah, we can expect all-time highs. Um, Coinbase mm, propping the price. Uh, I, you know, it wouldn't be the, I don't know. Let's, let's just see how it goes. You know, we've got the levels. We've got the analysis, and now let's enjoy the weekend and, and see what happens when we return on Sunday night. Obviously, I've got my next live stream on Sunday night. If you're interested, that's for the champions. And yeah, this is kind of the update I wanted to give you. Obviously, yeah, there, there you go. Once you have the key levels, trading becomes a lot easier. Plan the trades, trade the plan. Obviously, that is the long that still, still that one from the weekly. Okay, and it really is a simple case of planning the trades and then literally trade the plan. So I would be. Um, not trading my plan if I didn't short this weekly, basically. Although, yeah, I totally understand. You could argue that there's a high probability that I get stopped out of the trade. And, uh, you know, that's that's your opinion. And if I get stopped out of the trade, I just really want to emphasize this one more time, that if I get stopped out of this short, firstly, I still have the I still have the long open from the weekly, so it's not the end of the world. But secondly, you cannot expect to win 100% of your trades. You know, you could just cannot expect to win every single trade that you take. Um so obviously I have a fairly nice entry on this. The, the, the invalidation is not too wide. But um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Me giving you this talk through of how I'm trading this. How I simultaneously am approaching this in terms of holding the long. Or simultaneously now holding a short. Okay. Um, you know, that's you know that's pretty good game theory of how you approach these sort of things. And when you look for your invalidation, how you let your other position run. You know, you can view it as a hedge initially. If you lose your support, you obviously close down one of those positions. And this is, you know, I, I love to trade this way. I'm not going to lie. I really do enjoy trading this, right, this way. And why wouldn't I? I mean, it, it works. So, <laughs> um, yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, really appreciate a like, you know, smash up the likes. If we get... I don't think, you know, uh, let, let's say if we get a thousand likes, I'll do a live stream for you where I'll talk you through Bitcoin. Maybe we are breaking all time highs and you want to run through of the all time high breakout where we're going to be looking for if we do break all time highs. You know, uh, one could argue there's a really there's a, there's in terms of like the fundamentals right now, one could argue it's really likely that we're breaking all time highs. I, I personally believe the Coinbase listing on the stock market is bullish. So this is why I have factored this into my trading here with my position sizing, because I am I personally do feel that that is bullish for Bitcoin. Um, but yeah, we can explain this more if you want a live stream. If you do smash up the likes, thousand, I'll do one. Uh, if not, I hope you all enjoy and I'll catch you on Sunday if you are a Chart Champions member where I'll do a members live stream. For everybody else, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much and have a brilliant, brilliant weekend. Have a good one. I suck at ending the videos and goodbye. <laughs>